But it all started with he had said something about your parents or something like that? Yeah, um, Javante had said uh, something about my parents look like cousins or the retarded looking or something like that. And at the time, you know, I was young, so I kind of reacted to that. But internally, uh, that's just a man I've been chasing down. You know, Ryan keeps saying that this fight is personal for him because you disrespect his family. Do you know what he's talking about? What? What? Did, yeah, I ain't never seen me say nothing about his family. I ain't seen nothing about his family. I don't even know his family to be saying anything about it. His father or his mother. I don't know nobody. There's a lot being made, uh, you know, by fans, experts about your experience being a big reason why you're the favorite in this fight. Do you agree with that? And, you know, fighting multiple champs he hasn't fought that's going to be tough for him to overcome. Yeah, I think me just think of, me just like looking back on it, it just um, he looked good against people that he's supposed to look good against. I never seen a white come on and say like somebody that he fought or somebody that he sparred or anything like that that was really good. They're saying that he was top level. I think he just he just looked like that on guys that he's supposed to look like. You know what I mean? Will he uh, rise to the occasion though? Being like you did know. with Pedraza, <laughs> you know, you hadn't fought anyone like that until that point, and then you yeah. rose to the occasion. I mean, I don't know. We gotta wait and see. We gotta wait and see. We've heard you mention the Instagram thing a couple of different times. Is Ryan's visibility on Instagram something that makes you sort of lose a little bit of pro fighter respect for him? Or no, nah, I ain't gonna lie. Me losing respect for him just was like recently, like because first of all, he lied about. Like, why would you even lie and put, and, and put that out there that we put in the contract that you can't drink no water or anything and then double back and say people that, like, you said it with a serious face. Like, of course, boxing, people that's not boxing fans is going to believe. And some people in the, bo I mean, the boxing world believe, knowing that he was talking out his ass. But it's just certain little things that he do that, that, There's certain little things he do. Just like he, he's praising his, um, I praise God and everything, but he he drink a lot, he he gamble a lot. Like, he do all this stuff. He just, I don't know. Javante Not saying that it's, it's, just don't say like I'm just so this highly um, praise God person. Like I'm a saint, I don't do nothing wrong if you want to be somebody like, do your little dirt and think nobody gonna get back to it. Do you think he's a hypocrite in a way? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, he is. Yeah. He is. Well, is it just that one? Even like on the, not to cut you off, even like on all assets. Yeah. He was on a jet. He was on a jet gambling. Mm -hmm. Like, what are you doing that for? Yeah. Need to relax. He says and he it, only and he only twenty four. He says it, it helps him clear his mind. I've, I've heard how that go interviews. How that clear your mind? More so that, it's crazy. He's more of a, a bad person than me. Mm. Why do you say he's a cornball? Huh? You think that? He's do a I think he's a cornball? Yeah. yeah. You just try to put that in my mouth. No, no, <laughs> I do think he's a cornball. Yeah, well, why? Because I just like what well, he just he do all the time. Mm. He try to play something he's not. He try to make this like ah uh, and then. When doors closed and the cameras off, he's this other person. Did Don't you, be like that. Did you take catching up to him, huh? Yeah. No, my bad, thing. Go ahead. No, go ahead. So are we not, in your opinion, seeing like the real, who's the, in your opinion, you know how to read people. What, who is the real Ryan? Like, what, what, what's really him? That night I seen him in the club. That's the real him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the real him. What, what'd you see there? Watch your stuff. <laughs> hey, Baltimore is on the map with LSU winning. You're next. How do you feel about carrying the whole city? It's, it's great. It's, it's good that we having some light brought into the city and things like that. So it's fire. It's fire. In terms sure. of preparation, like, was there anything that you did differently this time around in camp for uh, Ryan? Uh... Because I, I saw on All Access that it said, um, you know, with with having a chef in and stuff like that, is that something uh, new? No, nah, I've been I've been having a chef, but not, per, not, not nothing new. I don't think nothing new. Probably uh, nah, not nothing new. I don't, I don't 
Tank, Thanks. we watched you time after time knock guys out with one punch. We watched you brutalize guys. What what kind of goes into breaking a fresh opponent down that's ready to fight you? You'll see April 22nd. Definitely, that's how I'm going to break. Uh, I feel like though that's how I'm going to break. Um, Ryan, down. I don't think it's going to be one punch. I think I'm going to break them down where it's going to tell you can't. Can't throw a punch. Are there signs or signals uh, from your opponents inside the ring and during the bout? What are some of those signs that you notice that you're breaking a guy down? First, they, they, I can't really say. I don't really want to say it. Then Ron see it. And then you know, <laughs> you know, so I don't really want to say. But in past fights, what have you noticed from opponents? They get weak. They get weak, and I always call it out to my coach. Every time I call it out to my coach, I go right to the corner. Even in spawn, like when I'm about to knock somebody out in spawn, I go back to the corner and tell them, like, they break it down. And then the next round, I'll be like, they out of there. Do you I don't know, it's just a, it's a, it's a feeling. It's do you feel that in their punches, or did you just see that in their posture, or how, how do you see it? Overall, it's just everything. It's everything. Everything. What's Ryan going to be the most shocked about when he steps in the ring? My skills. People, people just think that I just, I'm just this hard hitting guy. And then when they actually get in there, they know that they see that I have skills, like skills, real skills, not no stuff that you just see on Instagram or anything like anything like that. I already have like boxing skills. We know what a great fighter you are inside of the ring, but how much of that has been influenced in the fight outside of the ring that you had growing up? Uh, been, it been, been pretty like, I don't know, it just, I don't know, man. It been, it been good, I guess. Tank, since the announcement of the fight, you've grown like 500,000 new followers on uh, Instagram. How do you feel about that? <laughs> I guess it come with it. I, that I'm not really too big on like, I guess it come with it. It made me feel like when I was, when I fought my first wife, world title though, how like the height was and like, cause people was like, more so like, damn, like he's about to fight for his world, world, first world title and like, Nobody didn't really, like, I was just, like, on the scene type stuff, like, so it was, like, actually kind of big, you know, and people was, like, really wasn't going with me type stuff, so then I showed them. We'll wrap it up with this, because we're in Los Angeles, Hollywood, all these people have come out here. I always like to ask you guys this. Even Ryan, this whole family. I'm sorry. I'm sorry? No, no. For all these people who are going to turn into Showtime pay-per-view,